Hi, I'm John Twist of University Motors. Today I want to talk about overdrive gear ratios. We have some other uh, videos up on YouTube that deal with overdrive, but none of them with exactly how the gearing is done and how to calculate it, if you are so excited to want to do that. Let's take a look at the individual components of the overdrive. We've got the main shaft, which has got a splined back end, which fits into the carrier that holds the, the planet gears. In the middle of the planet gears, we have a sun gear. On the outside of the planet gears, we have the annulus. Okay. And we also have the brake ring. The brake ring here, which has got a, a fabric face on the inside and on the outside. The cone clutch, or the sliding member as it's called in the workshop manual, is either jammed down against the annulus or through hydraulic pressure is lifted off about a quarter of an inch up against a brake band which allows the, the uh, cone clutch, the sliding member, to stop. So those are the, those are the, the uh, really the five pieces here. Down inside here there's a sprag clutch which helps in direct drive, it's not in place right now which allows the annulus to only go as fast as or faster than the main shaft. It can't go slower. That's why if you engage uh, the gearbox in overdrive and reverse at the same time, something blows up and it's the sprag clutch at the, at the back end. In any case, let's take a look at how these components work. Uh, we've got in the case of the MGB LH overdrive, we have 60 teeth here, and in the case of the LH, we've got 15 teeth on the gear that meshes with it. Then, in the case of the LH overdrive, we've got 24 teeth here, and 21 teeth, or 21 teeth on this, and 24 teeth on the uh, on the sun gear. So, when we put the main shaft down through here, the only thing that we're, that we're touching here is the carrier. So, when, when we turn this, it's turning the carrier, and the carrier's turning at the same speed as the main shaft. And, and this is freewheeling. This does, this does not happen in normal operation. When we slide, now let's slide the, the clutch on top of here, and let's get our indexes lined up here pretty close, or do the best that, that we can. You see our yellow mark at the top and at the bottom are in the same place. And if we hold our, our uh, assembly down tight and turn him 360 degrees, you see that we're still in direct drive. This is not overdrive. This is strictly direct drive because the cone clutch is being pressed very, very hard against the annulus. So everything is jammed up. Nothing is turning on the inside of this assembly. The planet gears, the sun gear, everything is, is, is frozen solid. But if we take this brake ring and we lift it up off the annulus, just a little tiny bit, not much, and then turn this, we'll see that we've done a full revolution here, but look here, we've actually gone a quarter of a turn farther, and that is overdrive. Remember nominally that first gear, for every one turn you put in, you get a quarter turn out. Second gear, one turn in, two quarters turns out. Third gear, one turn in, three quarters a turn out. Fourth gear, one turn in, four quarters of a turn out. And overdrive, one turn in, five quarters of a turn out. All gearboxes change those ratios just a little bit, but that's basically it. So let's take a look at the actual gear ratios and how to calculate what the what the overdrive advantage truly is. I'm going to attempt to draw here a compound planetary gear set. 
Our first and largest circle is the annulus. Then we have our sun gear on the inside. Against the sun gear is one of our compound gears and in the center of that gear is the smaller gear that runs against the annulus. So these two gears are in mesh and these two gears are in mesh. When we turn the main shaft in overdrive, what we're really doing is moving this bar, the planet carrier, in a clockwise direction. And for every turn that we put into it, we're going to get a turnout, plus we're going to get a little bit more. This gear, the sun gear, has 21 teeth. The planet gear that meshes with it has 24. So for every turn that we put into rotation, we're going to get 21 24ths of a turn out on our planet gear. The inside of the planet gear has 15 teeth and the annulus has 60 teeth. If we multiply those two gear ratios together, we end up with 315 over 1440, which equals 1 1.21875. You can take your calculator and double check my figures, but this is correct. Now the reciprocal of 1.21875 is 0 0.82, and that is, if you look in your workshop manual, the gear ratio for the overdrive. So again, the main shaft going in is going to carry is going to carry the the planet carrier around one full turn. And if this gear were not turning at all, if it was fixed, it would carry the annulus also one full turn. In fact, the one that I put down here, the one, isn't this ratio. The ratio is two two one eight seven five. We add the one from the full turn that we're putting in. Then we're getting 21 24ths of a turn out of this, and then we are further reducing it by a quarter, by 15 over 60, 1 over 15, and the combination of those equals our 21875. Well, I hope I've made this clear. Well, someone's cell phone rings in the distance. Um, I hope I've made this clear. If you have any questions about your overdrive, just give us a call. I'm happy to answer them. And if there's anything else you'd like to know, give us a call during our technical hour. I happen to be in Minneapolis um, next uh, two weekends from now, three weekends from now. Uh, and uh, we'll have a good time at Mark Brandau's shop. Immediately coming up this weekend, there's still some spaces left, is our uh, video, or is our uh, three-day technical seminar, uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. See you later.